Hey Virgo, welcome in. Thanks for coming. Just a few quick uh, things before we get started. I will be pulling three lucky uh, winners for a free 30 minute live reading. So we'll be interactive with one another and you can ask as many questions within that time frame as you please. Um, you do have to be a subscriber. You have to like a video and comment. So don't forget to do that. I do have a short video on my channel and in the description box kind of goes over all the things that are required in order for you to be put in the drawing. So remember this is a general reading. It won't fit everyone. There may just be certain messages here for you. And a ribbon reading is just a different way to pull in messages from spirit. Okay. And this is one of my favorite ways to do it. It's different. Um, it's an older method of doing things, but it is one way that I, I do really like to pull in messages. So what I do is I pick ribbons here. You can see the sticks. I pull the sticks out, get the color of the ribbon, and then I have this um, big glass bowl that I go pick because I have different colors and sizes. So based on the color, I'll pick random, you know, pick whatever um, that color ribbon is and pull it out. So that is what I did here. I will tell you that it, this was very a very emotional um, pulling of ribbons here. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. So with this red ribbon, you know, a lot of people refer red to love, you know, when really pink is for love in actuality. But anyway, I do feel that, and if you can see how the ribbon kept sticking up, like I tried to, you know, flatten it out. And then I just got the vis vision here of the phoenix rising from the ashes. So there's been something here for quite some time where you've had to have strength, um, you know, perseverance, willpower for sure. And I feel as if the worst is behind you now, and if it's not, it's coming shortly, okay? Because remember, we're all on different timelines, but it's like a planting of roots here because it's like, you know, there, there was many things that just took you down, and finally, you found the willpower and courage to, to rise, and be above it okay so the dark blue and you can see this is smooth I mean there's some little waves in it but you can see that this is more of a, a rigid ribbon okay is how I refer to it and it seems like I just get the image of choppy waters like this has been whatever it is that you're going through okay it's it's been choppy waters. It's kind of like what I'm feeling is that, you know, you're headed in the direction of trying to get clarity and, you know, get to a goal and then you feel like you've been set back. It's like taking five steps forward and six, step ba six steps back sometimes. It's feel like you've made this so you know, you've made all this progress and you've gotten some clarity and then it's like, boom, you're back to square one. But know that things are going to happen in the appropriate time that it's supposed to and that the reason there are setbacks is because it's like divine timing from a perspective. Like there's, le there's lessons, there's more lessons to learn. And I know that you know, it's like I can hear people say, you know, I've learned enough, you know, but if we think about it, when we stop learning, we become stagnant, okay? The more we learn, the better we become. And I'm not saying those are easy lessons because a lot of times they're not, but there is a reason. I think you're trying to get in tune with your intuition as well, is what I'm getting from that. So let me say this before I go any farther. So typically, when I, the reason I pull six ribbons, and I apologize for not 
going doing this first but I do feel like I had to I had to kind of start off but typically the first the first ribbon is you know someone's personality it tells me about how someone is so the second ribbon is the most negative aspect of a person typically it, it can be it doesn't need to be but with your reading again I just feel like it's something I had to go into and not and some of these readings will be like that I'll just go straight into it and it's not necessarily you know it's it's I go by what I feel but you know I think the negativity here if anything it's like you just keep feeling defeated and it's very emotional and negative is not always bad because some of these negative things that happen or a negative mindset we get into we need to change but again I feel like it's the phoenix rising from the ashes which it's like overall like you're determined you're not gonna you know you've let so much so many things have happened to you that you're no longer going to let things just tear you down. You're going to rise above, okay? The third ribbon is positive aspects. And with this yellow ribbon, again, this is rigid, okay? But this talks about the personal healing that you've, you've gone through and that you're continuing to do and how determined you are and how determined you are to move forward. And again, it's been choppy, it's been rough, but you keep going. That's, resi I mean, you're resilient. That's, that's beautiful. With the blue ribbon, the light blue ribbon here, and it's smooth, I'm getting that, you know, things have been difficult, you know, You've been trying to find your voice, both externally and internally. It's like there's some kind of freedom that wants to, to happen here. You know, or you want like your freedom reaffirmed in some way, shape or form. Like you want to exercise personal freedom in your life. Whatever that means to you, it's different for everybody. Many of you are soul searching. You've seen the truth through your fears. And if you haven't, you will. And with this light blue, it's just it's it's just refreshing in a way that, you know, I refer this to water in a way with the blue it is the feeling I'm getting like the sea and heavens like your soul is gonna want you to look at things in just such a better perspective and it's gonna get here so <clears throat> that is the most positive aspect with the the fourth ribbon, the fifth ribbon. Now remember, and I'm sorry if I didn't say this, but the fourth ribbon is, you know, talks about what's beneficial, what actions need to be taken. And I do feel there are some of you that are already have started that on based on what I've said. And like I said, if you're not, it's going to come. It's going to come with time because everybody's on a different time frame. With the fifth ribbon, this is, this is your strengths. Many of you have become dependent, independent, and dependable. Some of you, you know, I look at this as you wanting to get, like many of you have planted seeds, 
Maybe some of you have done that literally. But I do feel that, you know, seeds have been planted. And even though you can't see that plant or whatever, grass, however you want to say that, okay, about to come out of the ground, it's right there. Some of you have gotten very much into nature or want to go ahead and get more in nature. That's a good way to ground yourself. But these seeds are about to sprout. And even though you can't see it, you have to believe it. Because faith is about whatever faith is to you. Faith is about believing. And then you will see. Don't always expect to see something for you to believe it. You have to have the faith that it's going to get better. And it will. That's what I'm getting from that. So this is like a periwinkle color. And I know with the lighting, it just doesn't look like that. But it's a very light shade of purple and it's rigid as well and this is the the, the sixth ribbon is the long-term outcome here with this i feel that you've been treading lightly You've remained, you're doing your best to remain calm and relaxed. I feel a sense of protection here. Whether you're protecting someone, I do feel like you're divinely being protected. As well as you are inspiring others in some way, shape or form, whatever that means to you. I do get a very relaxing feeling here. And some of you, and this just popped up, if some of you may be using lavender, whether it's, you know, oils or bath salts or some kind of air freshener, but it's like I'm getting a strong smell of lavender as well. Whatever that means to you. And it might take you some time to fully get there, but baby steps, right? Because nothing can happen overnight. Yeah. There's going to be serenity here. And you are protected. So I hope this reading has helped. If, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and comment. I always love to hear from people as well. I will be doing the love and career readings this week as well. So remember, Virgo, to keep standing in your power. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.